four of the most misleading social media metrics. Measuring your social media efforts is crucial. You need metrics, analytics, and insights to know what's working and what's not, what to invest in and what to ditch. It can be difficult, though, to know which metrics to look at. Recently, Marcus Sheridan of the Sales Lion composed a definitive list of the top 10 most misleading social media metrics in the world. And it has been circulated widely. Not all of them are relevant to you, the Social Media Attraction University student. So we sorted through the list to give you the four most misleading metrics for your business. Number one is clout. At this point, the quickest way to lose credibility in your network is to brag about your clout score. Now, for a while, it seemed like clout would become the definitive measurement tool for online influence. There's a certain draw to qualifying how influential you are, but real qualities and real character of a person cannot really be measured by adding your likes and your retweets together. Twitter followers. <clears throat> What's the first thing we all look at when we find someone's Twitter profile? Followers, right? It's hard not to. But this statistic is often misleading as well. Twitter followers are often traded or outright purchased. In a Twitter, Twitter trade, <clears throat> the user will follow others in order to get followed back. The best way to evaluate Twitter influence is to look at the follow-to-follower ratio. If a person has 2,000 followers but only follows 200, that likely shows more influence than the person that has 8,000 followers and follows 8,000 others. Fans, in our experience, Fans are the king of misleading statistics. Now, don't get me wrong. Fans are great. We all want fans. But having a lot of fans does not necessarily translate into generating a lot of revenue. How engaged are those fans? How much conversation is going on? What's the conversion rate? How many of those fans do you even reach? YouTube views is number four. Having a video go viral would be pretty sweet, right? Four million views overnight. Jackpot. Not so fast. So a lot of people saw your video. Did you turn any of those viewers into customers? Are those viewers even potential customers? Do they know more about your products and your services? Do they even want to know? <laughs> Trying to go viral is really a waste of energy. Just focus on creating compelling content that adds value to the lives of those in your community. After all, this guy got 43 million views. A good suggestion I'll lend today is to establish a spreadsheet with the metrics that you feel are important to measure. Every few days, tally up your progress. You'll see if you're growing or not. If you are, keep it up. If you're not, get some advice on how to improve.